The following contest is a tables match. Making her way to the ring from Tokyo, Japan, Cody Holly. You don't want to miss this triple threat tables match up next. Matches like this, Cole, give a whole new meaning to the term rearranging the furniture. Corey, what's the game plan for a superstar heading into a match like this? Almost more than any other match, Cole, these superstars need to have eyes in the backs of their heads. If you don't know what's behind you, there's a good chance you're going to get put through a table. It's that simple. And it's finally time, guys, for the tables match. I've been looking forward to this one, Michael, and I know these superstars have been too, though I'm willing to bet one of them will have changed their tune after it's over. And we're underway with triple threat action. It's worth noting that a lot of people give ECW credit for popularizing the triple threat match back in the mid to late 1990s. You gotta believe this one's over. Ring rattling. Oh, so ruthless. Now that's how you use a table to your advantage. I don't believe it. And that table can shorten careers, Michael. Boom, what impact! Oh, look, power bomb planted. Ooh, what impact! Nasty one right to the chest. I don't believe it. And that table can shorten careers, Michael. Beautiful technique. This might be it. Oh, my. Oh, so ruthless. Now that's how you use a table to your advantage. Ooh. You want to talk about WWE Hall of Famers taking things to the extreme? The first time many fans saw somebody put through a table was in 1984. Randy Macho Man Savage drove Ricky Morton of the Rock and Roll Express through a table with a pile driver at the Mid-South Coliseum. Running Bulldog!
Corey, we've seen unbelievable championship matches and triple threat contests over the years. You're absolutely right. The fact that a champion does not have to submit or be pinned or be factored in the decision at all to lose their championship is something that can influence their approach to the match. As some would say in a triple threat, you don't have to beat the champ to become the champ. That's a risk that a champion runs when being put in this type of match. We've heard from many superstars who say that fact does affect their training and overall preparation for a triple threat match. It would have to. Side Russian leg sweep. Oh, 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 perfect form. What a stomp. Good grief. Oh, nasty impact. Nailed it. Oof. Oh, man, she's rolling now. She's turning the tables. Ain't turned yet. Still got some work to do. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. Boom! <laughs> She's starting to feel the pressure. Her hopes of winning this match may very well be in jeopardy. Well, a triple threat is a match of strategy. And I'm not so sure this is what she had in mind. She's taking quite a beating. Oh, man, this match is so evenly matched. It's unbelievable. Any one of these women can win at this point. She's able to get out of the way there. Whip. Oh, right to the chest. It shouldn't be a shock that the Dudley boys were involved in one of the most intense tables matches we've seen in recent memory. At the 2015 TLC event, the Dudleys called on their extreme brothers, Tommy Dreamer and Rhino, to battle the Wyatt family in an eight-man elimination tables match. People were flying everywhere that night. And in classic ECW fashion, so were the trash cans and kendo sticks. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. The match in 2015's TLC event with the Dudleys, Tommy Dreamer and Rhino versus the Wyatts was chaos from the second all eight superstars were in the ring. Braun Strowman was awesome in his destruction of all four members of Team Extreme, but the ECW originals kept their focus on making sure each member of the Wyatt family crashed through a table. The ECW's originals love a brawling clash with the Wyatt's drive to destroy anyone who stepped in their path. The Wyatt's took the advantage after Rhino and Devon Dudley were eliminated, and they didn't look back. Bubba Ray took on the Wyatt's with everything he had, but the sick power of the Wyatt family was just too much, as seen when Braun Strowman chokeslammed Bubba Ray through the final table. Some superstars who have competed in a triple threat match feel it's a good idea to have both a finishing move that brings you to a pinfall attempt on your opponent and a submission move that can make your opponent tap out. Given the chaotic and unpredictable nature of a triple threat, that sounds like a good plan to me. Byron, you talked about strategy that involves a tables match. I was in WWE when the Dudley boys came from ECW. And you could say that things changed a bit thanks to Bubba and Devon. Oh, my God. you got to believe this one's over. Oh, my God. A small package driver. Look at her go. Boom, what impact. Drop kick. Oh, right in the back. Nailed it. Back in two. Neckbreaker. Man, she knows how to make a comeback. <laughs> She's getting trounced now. Folks, this could be the beginning of the end for her here in this triple threat match. Look, at this point, it's not going to take much to put her through a table, as I'm sure we'll see here in the very near future. Oh! Things are not looking very good right now here. Oh, my goodness! More of this she can take. She may not even know where she is, leaving her incredibly vulnerable here in this triple threat match. The last thing she wants is to be a target in this match, but unfortunately for her, that's exactly what she's become. She has to be careful here, guys. One wrong move, and she's gonna find herself taking the loss here tonight. Harsh impact. Oh, nasty impact. Big slam. Double axe handle smash. Back 
back in from the floor. Oh, going to the top, high risk. Whoa. She can pick up the win here, guys. I don't know about you guys, but it looks to me like these superstars are on their last legs here. Here we go. Back inside the ring. High impact crossbody. LePable in play. An amazing match so far, guys, but it looks to me like we're possibly nearing the end here. Suplex! I think she's trying to prove a point here. Good things must come to an end, but I wish that match could have gone on a little longer. Now let's take a look back at these ladies in action. Look at her go. That's a woman on a mission. Man, this was great. Ain't nothing better than action like this. Here is your winner, Brittany Sears. What a grueling match. It looked like anybody's match.